Today I want to walk you through the usage of world edit in mind test and give you some tips and tricks I learned along the way. So um, let's start with the version of world edit um, as of the time of this video in May 2024. There's a pretty new version, just a few days old from world edit. I downloaded it and using it. Plus additionally, I'm using the very handy world edit undo command, which can help you um, fix mistakes you did. So let's go into mind test. Um, let me full size this. Um, so I'm in a world um, I was using to work with some students. I used um, the mod map to mind test, which uses OpenStreetMap data and maps it into the, the world of mind test. So if the students build their future cities, they can uh, build it on the existing map of a city to ex expand this. Um, and one of the samples of what uh, people do is uh, they build houses. And one of the really useful commands of World Edit to work with this is the stack command. So let's start with this one. So I have World Edit enabled. If I go uh, into my in inventory, I get this little round um, world here. If I click on it, I get all the uh, world edit commands. First of all, so with this, I will I need to mark a region, which I can either do with the world edit uh, wand. So if you search for world edit, you get this tool, and with this tool you can you can mark regions. Um, so if I right click once, I use it this, and right click here. If I use a command like this, you can also see what is selected. Uh, if I want to stack, um, so for example, if I want to stack this now, uh, it, it would also copy the ground. So instead of using um, the wand, I can use the command position one and position two. So you see this is now in the air. I would move over like here, for example. Um, so I can catch this. I would use the command position two. Um, this would take the whole area. And if I want to stack this now, which means like I copy this one level and copy it up, um, I use the command stack, which normally I use with the look direction. You can use also the axis, but I'm always confused, which is X, which is Y. So what I do is I look up and I say stack. Now it gives me a warning up here. It says it would change a lot of nodes, which I need to confirm with slash 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 yes. And as you can see, I now made uh, three additional levels on this area. Um, so I also showed you that I'm using the undo command. And one thing you need to know about the undo command is you can't undo all the commands of world edit. So in this case, it didn't undo the stack command, but it just undid the, the selection command. Uh, you can find a list of all possible things you can undo on the um, GitHub side of undo, but be careful, you know, if don't rely too much on it, sometimes it also doesn't work. So uh, before you do big changes, um, always try to make a backup. So let's see uh, some other commands of world edit. Um, for example, I can mark a region and um, use the set nodes command. In this case, I set it to cobblestone. And here we can see the undo command does work. If you want to know which uh, the names of the certain blocks you're using, um, you can press F5 on your keyboard and enable the debug mode. And then if you point to a certain block or node, like this one, for example, you can see this one is silver sandstone block. So you can also use the command and say set silver sandstone block. And it's filled and with the undo it's undone again. Um, other stuff that, which is really helpful is um, 
doing a cylinder, which always takes like the first selection you, um, it only takes the one selection and you can make a hollow cylinder now in the direction where I looked or which gets more narrow. Uh, so if I look up and do the same stuff, I get a cylinder like this. And here also the undo does work and it also works several times. So it undoes step by step. Um, if one thing I learned is, you know, if you want to copy a region, so let's say I got these trees over here and I need some more trees, um, I would go here, I make a selection, the first one here and a second one over here, just as an example. So I have this region selected. Um, normally I use the save and load commands. So there's the save load here. I give it a name. I say this is trees. I say save. So if I'm going to paste it somewhere else, I would just um, mark the first position of where this would go. But I was always confused, um, you know, where would all end up because sometimes it's different region and it's it's the orientation is wrong and there's a nice command which is like allocate and here you can see if i press allocate if i paste in it would use this region and if i say no load you can see it adds the trees in this region it doesn't put the air in if you want to uh, delete it first you can say set air which makes everything empty. And if you load it now, you only get the, the, the trees in. So the save and load are really helpful. Um, if you wanna check it out, it says on the documentation in World Edit, there's two different ways of saving stuff. Uh, I used to work with, with large areas and I ran into some problems sometimes. Um, there's a built-in file version which is called we for world edit which is quite big which saves the uh, your areas and your schematics in a kind of i think it's a json format and uh, sometimes i had problems with this loading it so saving it loading it somewhere else maybe the mods didn't work and it made my server crash um, i figured out later on there's also the mts scan create command um, which creates a much smaller and much more reliable uh, file version I would recommend you using the MTS scam create instead. So I hope all of this uh, made sense to you and helps you working with world edit. And if you have any questions or additional tips, uh, I'm happy if you share them in the comments. Thank you.